From as far back as history can remember, humankind has relied on animals as hunting partners, for competition, and for companionship. Just like with other objects we value, we look for ways to make the animals we work with and live with better. Consider the case of domesticated dogs. All of the different pure breeds we see today were created through artificial selection. We know that purebred dogs win shows, but does their beauty come at a cost to their overall health? The disadvantage is that because there's a lot of close breeding of animals that are fairly related to one another, um, you can get doubling up of recessive genes and sometimes you can get uh, various kinds of medical problems. So one of the most dire problems right now is with the Cavalier Spaniel, which has syringomyelia, which is essentially a brain case that is too small for the brain and it causes all kinds of neurological, neurological problems and a great deal of pain. And these animals are winning dog shows with this condition. Does a mutt represent a better alternative? <laughs> a mutt is an informal term for a dog that is not a purebred, that's a hybrid, so it could be any combination of breeds. Uh, in terms of upside, there's pretty much every single conceivable upside. There are very few recessive genes. You generally have a fairly healthy animal. Uh, and the other thing is that mutts, if you acquire them from something like an animal shelter, you're actually doing good. What if you could get that purebred beauty or that perfect mutt without the health defects or the risk of genetic gambling? It may sound like the stuff of science fiction, but right here in the Bay Area, there is a company that clones pets. Lou Hawthorne, CEO of Best Friends Again, has started a company that actually makes clones. And yes, those are his very own cloned dogs. The first dogs ever cloned commercially were these right here. We cloned four copies of my family dog, Missy, who died in 2002 at the age of 15. And the eldest is Mira right here, who's my personal pet. We've since announced the Best Friends Again program, which has sold by auction five cloning slots to the general public. We're in the process of fulfilling those orders. Uh, we've either delivered or have births for all five. Of course, the concept of cloning is not without controversy. Our ethical concerns relate a lot to the science of genetic engineering, um, but also go beyond that. Right now, um, genetic engineering is a highly unpredictable science. It's very experimental, and in most animals you're talking about 99% of experiments failing and resulting in animals who are diseased, have deformities, have major health problems. But is the general concept of cloning all bad? I think the common perception of cloning is off because of Jurassic Park. Um, we've been doing cloning since the 30s, 40s, and 50s of cells. Dolly was cloned in 1995, I believe, and she died at like five or six years old, which was premature, but not, it was too a virus, not for anything to do with cloning. Now, the argument that cloning produces a lot of organisms that are mutants and have to be put down, I think, is false. Um, very few cases, either the clone works or it doesn't. When it comes to dogs, some argue that mutts provide a hybrid vigor and thus a healthier pet. So what if you have the perfect mixed breed pet and want another one? The only way to reproduce a spayed or neutered mutt is by cloning. In a sense, when you own a mutt that resonates with your aesthetics and your lifestyle, you own a breed of one. You own the only instance of that breed. So should you clone your dog? Some think it would be fine. There's no reason not to clone a dog based on whether it's a mutt or a purebred. Either one of them should clone identically to the genetic donor. The, the downside to cloning a dog is if there's a problem in the original, you're very likely to get the same problem in the, uh, in the clone. So is the healthiest dog likely to be produced via cloning, breeding, or natural selection? And should you get a purebred dog or a mutt? The answer to these questions continues to be debated. However, one thing that is clear, this little one sure is cute.